Hello and welcome. Today we have Dr. Shah again and we have an interesting question for him. Uh, we, we know that how famous he is on social media uh, through his uh, Twitter handle, ID Doc, uh, ID Doc Adi, and uh, Stuart Beam as a Stuart uh, uh, Antibiotic Stewardship. So, question for you is um, uh, how you get into this uh, and you became over at Celebrity, uh, several okay. thousands of followers <laughs> for that matter. So, how did you get into uh, this uh, social media? bringing the change, bring the people together, raising awareness uh, about uh, vaccines and antibiotic mm -hmm. stewardship as well. And second question would be, if you may, uh, is that uh, uh, how are USMLE aspirants or medical uh, US, uh, US, US residency applicants can, uh, can do the similar things and uh, bring, it, bring the social media to their advantage? Sure. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kasha, for having me again on your channel. Uh, I feel really uncomfortable when you tell me, oh, you have become famous or have thousands of followers. I'm literally an average Indian guy with a weird sense of humor, which people like to laugh at. So I got into social media um, more actively in May of last year. I started making educational memes because for me in life, what works from my personality is jokes. I feel that human beings remember a good experience or a bad experience and that sticks in their memory. And for me, the best good experience is when you laugh or smile at something. That's how I started making the steward meme, uh, antimicrobial resistance and antibiotic stewardship related material on Twitter based on GIFs and videos and pictures and such. Uh, this all took off in May and it has been, um, I've made more than 150 memes which have had about 8 million views, about 20,000 retweets, uh, more than 50 to 60,000 likes. Uh, I've had two job offers. I've had two projects that I might be working on. And more than 25 times the material has been requested uh, to be shared in some kind of an educational capacity. So and my- That is just in last six months or seven months. Just in last seven months, yes. Impressive, impressive. Uh, so in my experience, I, I followed three basic rules on, on social media. At the end of the day, I'm still a trainee. I don't, I, I don't have my own malpractice, neither do I have a job. So you have to be very careful as to what you put out. A, don't pick a fight. B, respect every view, even if it's 180 degrees opposite to you. At respect it, I'm not asking you to accept it, but respect it because everybody has free will and they can have their own points of view. So you've got to respect it. Do not talk about anything uh, controversial. If you have a controversial opinion, share it amongst your friends over dinner. Don't share it for the world to see if you have a controversial view. And lastly, it, the, my basic principle is I aim more for awareness than agenda. I don't have an agenda. Awareness more than agenda is my dictum on, on, on Twitter and social media. So that, has, that is how I have been able to educate people about stewardship, about vaccines, about topics that ail physicians like burnout or emotional exhaustion, topics which are close to us like the topics about international medical graduates for which I ran a recent poll. We got more than 700 votes, more than 30 to 40 comments for people to um, read if they're interested as to what helps be an IMG. And that has helped work for me so far. So there is no real science or logic to this. I just be myself on Twitter. Um, exactly, that is, the, that is the poll I'm talking about. I just be myself on Twitter and I don't pick a fight and respect everybody. And I aim for awareness more than um, agenda. Uh, talking about your second question as to international medical graduates and social media, I think it is a great way to see what the world is doing. When I was an IMG and training, I didn't even have a cell phone, leave alone Twitter. So I got a cell phone in my final year of med school. How crazy is that? Uh, whereas today, if you're on Twitter, you can be following the chief of an Ivy League program of whatever field you're interested in, to a medical student who is on he or she's first day of medical school. So the variety of people you can follow from pre-meds, medical students, residents, fellows, assistant, associate, 
and then professors, leaders in the field is just so wide. And most of them are engaging, like I always engage anybody who replies to me um, or asks a question to me. You can ask questions about how to prepare for an interview, how to prepare your CV, uh, like the discussion that we are having right now as to, or the poll that I put out, the screenshot that you shared, um, how, what, what works best for international medical graduates applying for residency. If you are doing some academic work, you can also share links of that on Twitter. And if it is good work, it can be shared by several other people who by word of mouth can tell that this person, he or she is really good in this field and you should consider them for an interview. Man, I did not have all these opportunities to network. As I said, I didn't even have a cell phone. I just got on Twitter last year, but this is what I've seen, is that it's a great platform. If you're respectful and if you're honest and if you're hardworking, um, um, there's, there's great scope to learn from others and to share your science and to interact with a variety of audience on Twitter to see where you stand with regards to your questions or queries. Absolutely, and those are excellent tips. And they're not only true for just medical students or medical professionals. I guess the tips you're sharing, that applies to everybody. Don't pick a fight on social media. Uh, <laughs> keep, if something is very controversial, keep to yourself. Because social media, as, as, as you rightly said, should be a connector, should bring mm -hmm. people together. And I, I really appreciate when you say that you're using social media, especially Twitter or your sword meme, to bring people together to bring like-minded people together, raising mm -hmm. awareness and, and then making friends uh, along the way. So that is an excellent use of social media. Mm -hmm. We live in times where things are so negative, right? So we need to be, at least I, I like to focus, I'm an optimist. So I like to focus on positives and smiles more than fights. So that's just uh, me as a personality. Absolutely, absolutely. And we really appreciate that you're bringing your perspective that how you did not have any of the smartphone technology at the time. Technology was there, yeah. maybe means and resources at the time. Uh, and now medical students or residents uh, applicants would have all of these things. So they mm -hmm. should utilize it uh, to their strength uh, as they apply for uh, residency applications. And you want to add to that? Yes. Uh, one more thing that uh, people who are applying for med school or residency or fellowship should know is that whatever you like or comment or share is visible to the world. So, and it never disappears off social media. So if, if there's something, you have to be very careful about it as to what you like, share or comment. So I'm not going to point out exact examples, but you know what I mean. You should not be, you should be aware that what your activity, this is not Facebook where, or Instagram where your activity is restricted to you. On Twitter, if you like something, like for example, if I like something, then thousands of my followers are going to see, oh, he or she liked this. And if this is something that the other person might not agree with, it can start off a big issue for you. As I said, I am a medical trainee. You are a medical trainee who's applying for residency. We are not independent providers. We are still under insurance from somebody else. So up until you're independent, you have to be very responsible because you represent the organization that you're working for or studying for right now. Rightly said. I think that's a very important factor for our, our viewers to listen to it. So we thank you for, uh, for your time and excellent advice. For our viewers, please like and subscribe. That's the only way for you to be alerted for these excellent videos and talks with our celebrity, social media celebrity, resident and fellows, and, and then get benefited. Write in your comment section what you like to get added, and we'll be adding those videos for you as well. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Shah, once again. Thank you, Dr. Kashyap. Good luck.